in Russia, they'll have, you know, Putin will play like hockey games and everyone lets him win. They d let him do judo too. Yeah, they let him do, it's, it's kind yeah. of Steven Zagal style. Well, he, you know, he'll, he's yeah. 900 pounds and he just, these demonstrations. No, where he's he just, actually legit with judo. I know he's, no, he's, he's really legit. Aikido, right? No, 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 judo. Is he judo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's a black belt. He's an actual black belt. Putin is a legitimate black belt. Like when you watch him throw people okay. around, watch video of it, pull up Putin does judo. But he, the hockey. 100% he's legit. So he's the, okay, so he's legit that. Yeah. Well, I actually didn't know that fucking, part. He used to be a KGB guy. You but the hockey, saying? he plays against like, you know, high level professional oh, hockey players. Let him, they they kinda, let him do hockey? Let him win. He gets 11 points against, you know. Ah! But I feel like sometimes the trans stuff's that where everyone just kind of. Right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is the same thing because everyone's scared. But when you watch him do judo, like 100%, that's real skill. Like 100%. Like, he definitely knows his shit. Like, if I saw that guy teaching at a, a judo sure. academy somewhere, he's a black belt, and he was an instructor, I would say yes, legitimate. Nice. Yeah, the Putin really knows judo. What about Seagal? What do you think of Seagal? He really is really good at Aikido. He was the, he was at, the at, goat, right? Well, no. <laughs> no, but he was very talented. Like, if you just watch his uh, fluidity and his technique in Aikido, if you go back to the early days when he was running a dojo in Japan, and I think he was legitimately the first American to run an Aikido dojo in Japan. No bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he was, I think he was married to the daughter of one of the main senseis or something. So he was like deep in the culture and re he was really good at Aikido. But Aikido is a martial art that was developed to, to disarm people with swords. So when someone's coming at you with a sword, oh. you don't have a sword, you're disarming them. The okay. idea is to try to use their momentum against them. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's kind of a reactive martial art, and it's like it's using your momentum and then using leverage and using technique. But it's not, a, it's not like offensive. And what he did in the movies is he made it offensive. Like if you go to like uh, yeah. Above the Law. Above the Law is a fucking great movie. Well, he turned it into this a is tool Seagal, to get tons of pussy. This is him when he's older. Okay, this is like, this is uh, Do-Rag Seagal. Do-Rag like, Seagal is the best Seagal. Do-Rag Seagal is not the best Seagal. You want to go <laughs> to black and white film Seagal. Because you got to realize like Above the Law, go to uh, old Steven Seagal footage. Above the Law was in... <laughs> Jamie, hell yeah, bro! I'm telling you, ass, listen, the guy. You you can say whatever you want about the guy now, but I am just here. telling I, you. I love him. Yeah, this is listen. Fuck all this. Go to old Steven Seagal footage because this is a lot of like, he's you know he's basically in a movie now, right? Like yeah. he's, that's like he's in a movie. Those guys aren't really resisting. And one that he's no 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 no, as well. no 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 uh, old Steve. I'm sorry, old Steven Seagal Aikido footage. There's like legitimate footage of him in the dojo. Just doing work. Yeah, like when you see like his uh, his ability to throw people. There you go. He had the big feud well, the, with John Claude the Van Damme. One. The top one's legit. I've seen this top one. So <clears throat> it's a lot of the movements and stuff, like Woo! very fluid, very fluid. It's just not that effective a martial art in in real yeah. practice. Like in real practice, a wrestler is gonna take a, a keto down, a, a keto guy down, like a hundred percent of the time. Yeah, no a keto guys ever won one of the big competitions, yeah, you, really. I mean, you could have a guy who starts out in Aikido for some strange reason and he's just extraordinarily physically talented. Like if John Jones got in Aikido, sure, he still would fuck people up in the UFC. There's certain people that are extraordinarily talented. They just they're training at the wrong place. That, uh, that yeah. does happen. Perhaps a trans Aikido fighter, would do it. <laughs> but Aikido is just not the. It's not the way to go. It's just it's a it's a beautiful martial art. It's a beautiful thing to learn. It is a really effective tool. Like if you know Aikido and a guy has like a bat and he's coming at you, it's actually a very important thing to know. Like some of the principles involved in in avoiding like these strikes, like you could apply those yeah. in in a real situation. But it's just like not the. It's just not the martial art that you would say like is like uh, on its own. What's really good for for fighting? You wouldn't sure. say Aikido. I feel like the reason why even guys like him, aside from that, were so great was just like that they believed it a little. You know when you see kind of, you know, Jason, like Jason Momoa right now as an action star, he doesn't think he's that guy. 
you know right. whereas right. like you know kind of even john claude van damme like th- it was vel- it was getting a little wishy-washy what was the movie what was them you know yes yes well i think the audience capture like that and, it, and especially then you're talking about like the 80s and the 90s where sure. your your connection to the audience is like so ethereal it's so like yeah. it's mystical like where, who are why do they like you're me? not where seeing are this these guy people? every day you don't you don't you don't have any tweets about you you're not getting any comments on youtube you're just like trying to figure out if people like, like you and you're just doing karate movies yeah <laughs> You it mean, is very, it is yeah. very easy to be like a god back in those days. It's kind of like oh, more how yeah. music is, where it's. I always say that even if you look at um, you know kind of activist do, stuff, he's doing splits on the top of like oh, a that's building. John Claude's. He's been his split Bro. move is the move. <laughs> Bro, he's doing splits on the top of a fucking giant pillar overlooking the city. I'd be scared to sit there. Ninety percent of Jean Clan Van Damme was his splits. <laughs> First of all, he's a beautiful man. He's the best. He's a beautiful man. I mean his body is flawless. So he's over there flawless body doing splits. More than splits too. Yeah. It's like look at him. He could do splits on <laughs> he could do splits on two chairs where he puts one heel on each chair and he like suspends his body. That's nuts. Oh that's, my god. That's really hard to do, man. So remember the splits. video? I think it was CGI. It had to be CGI. Where they did it in between the two trucks? Yeah, yeah a picture of it. That's CGI. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 both. It has to be they CGI. Did do some of it, but yeah, they didn't. I think he really can do that with his legs still. He really can do that. I don't think split. they were moving, though, yeah. But they're, they're not going to do that in between trucks, and he goes under the truck! <laughs> and they lose John claude Van Damme sure. in a fucking horrific semi-accident Abby. where his body gets turned into meat. I think he's doing uh, didn't he's doing some wild stuff right now. He's Is got, he? Oh, on the internet? Yeah, I think well he had that uh, he he did like a web series and then he had like some porn star girlfriend. He was posting fit photos of him just like in a hot tub with the, just like rocking out. Damn. Yeah, yeah it's kind of cool.